Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Co-op Germany with me, Commissar Roach, and Rival Zone Gaming. Hello. And the last episode, it was, uh, I think, uh, it was last episode the war? I think last episode was the war. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we... yeah, last episode we took out um, Hungary and Austria, and I've been jumping at the bits to go after Czechoslovakia, but you want to do it by political means. Well, yes, yes. Anything to <laughs> anything to allow us, uh, just anything to so we don't oh. have to have more dead boys coming home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Memel as well. Yeah, we, yeah. we got Memel back off Lithuania through political means. <laughs> yes, through political means, no bloodshed. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. It's working out. Um, Is this the best game you've had of Hearts of Iron Four? Yeah, I'm normally dead by now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> normally, I not manage to anger someone or do something really, really stupid. Hmm. Um, like accidentally declare war on people and things like that. But it's like anything. You have to play it over and over again and make mistakes and learn from them and things like that. When I did the Stellaris and I accidentally became a vassal of another empire i haven't made that mistake again yeah <laughs> that, that's good but yeah it's it's fun especially when you've got someone who can say yeah just do that you'll be fine it's like, oh okay i thought i was in a bigger hole than i was um and it's nice it's, it's a good place to learn and have a bit of fun at the same time well, i'm glad I, i'm glad i can help you and it's Thank not just and it's not just in the comment section uh, of of your videos <laughs> It's not just in the comic section that's been created, uh, like in this nice long piece of text, and then you just know all the way through that he's literally screaming at the keyboard, going, "Why were you being so stupid, man?" I am a very calm person. I, I have you know. <laughs> uh, okay, you got an assigned divisions. Uh, Is that yeah, your new are, trainees. Yep, the new trainees. Those are another six mountain divisions. They are deployed in Nuremberg, right next to the army they're supposed to go into. So you can put them into your purple army. Oh, thank you very much. Just make sure you have the... So you do that by having the purple army selected. Yep. Or just selecting those guys and then right-clicking them into the purple army on the bottom of the screen. Nope. Nope. Wrong thing. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Nope. Click. Select the guys. Select the guys that are unassigned. The new ones. Okay. You have them selected. Yeah. Right-click yep. the army in the bottom of the screen. The purple. There you go. Got it. Yeah. Now click. Sorry. Now click the entire army. So just click the icon at the bottom of the purple army screen, so they're all yep. selected. Then control, and then click to assign them to the to their order again. So control, left click yep. the. There you go. Got but it. Got it. But you didn't know you still. I was right clicking. Yeah, but you didn't do it again. You have to remember, select the entire army by clicking the icon at the bottom. I did. I swear I did. I did. I did. But you didn't, because those six armies, those six guys are not deployed into that. There you go. Now they are. <laughs> You'll learn. I probably should extend this line around the corner, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, you could probably do it. You have another six divisions that you probably be yeah. able to. So you can press Alt. Alt. And you see now there's a lot of... Now there's like, oh, I've got that little dot thing. Yeah, and then you can extend it so that's right clicking to drag. Oh, right clicking. And you can extend it out to uh, to the new area. I could probably do the whole thing. Alright then. It's only to there. There's two provinces less. You know what? Yeah, go for it. There you go. It's only two provinces. It was it was green all the way up to the last two provinces, so <laughs> Field Hospital's done. Alright, only one more well, two more support divisions. Support companies. Uh got signals and then MP. Let's do signals. Yeah, I figured you'd want that. Oh, we've got a modified government as well. Uh, let's see here. 
I'm thinking we actually change our economic law. So the blue, uh, the blue crossed, uh, the crossed, uh, guns there. Uh, blue cross guns, yeah. If you click that, this is our economic law. Right now we're in partial mobilization. Yeah. If we go to war economy, that means we actually have 5% less of our factories with dedicated to producing consumer goods. So okay. we actually, and it'll also increase our construction speed. Cool. So if we do, do it. it, if we do that, yeah, our consumer goods factories have been decreased quite a bit, and we're producing, uh, and we're making quite a few things in our production. We're almost to the end of our queue. Wow. Yep, we're just also repairing some of the infrastructure from the combat that occurred. Cool. I like how almost no combat happened, so Upper, yes. upper Austria didn't have damaged infrastructure. It's, it only, it's only when we got, actually got to the end of the end of combat actually happened to damage the infrastructure. That's good. Yeah, all the actual kind of fighting happened up in the mountains, really, didn't it? Yep. And with our construction queue being almost done, I'm thinking I'm going to make a couple of thinking uh, in Ostmark uh, a synthetic refinery. Okay. And in I don't know how to pronounce this province name, so I'm not going to try. Uh, there as well. Armored spearheads done. Okay. So we've got another technology to research. Uh, can go straight with Schwerpunk. Yep, Schwerpunk. Do that. The uh, what is that? What does that actually mean? I know what it means. I don't know how. I don't know what the actual translation is, but I know what it means in terms of military strategy. It's the point of pivot. It's where the yeah. It's where everything's focused. Yeah. Any operation in the Schwerpunk or focal point must be identified and maximum force concentrated to win that point. Yep. It's clever. Well, uh, you got free dockyards, my friend. Yeah, I'm looking around. I'm thinking, just get these, uh, get these uh, Schadenhorst uh, off of the slipways. Try and get them out. Uh, okay, we got more unassigned divisions. Thinking these guys will go into purple army. Oh, you're sending them to me? No, uh, deep purple, Eastern theater. Oh, uh, star purple. Yeah, star purple. You're more of a mauve, I guess. Sorry. Pink. Um, <laughs> pink. Manly pink. It's manly pink. It's. Uh, I'm changing my uh, thing to a trident. Okay. Oh, talks have been held in Munich between the leaders of Germany, Britain, France, and Italy to discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. The British and their allies have both rejected our rightful claims to the Sudetenland, and they have uh, threatened us with a war if we violate, quote-unquote, the Czech border. A plan for the invasion has been drawn up. Time time to do this the hard way. First Vienna Awards. Demand state and land. Let's see here. Uh, the next one's Fight of Czechoslovakia. Yeah, I'm going to say... Let's try that one. We might have to go to war over... We might World War II might start over Czechoslovakia. Again. The Sudeten crisis. Germany demands for Satan land. Uh, held. Uh, it's all our talks. Uh, the talks appear to have failed, however, and both Britain and its allies are turning stern warnings to Germany that if its troops crosses the Czechoslovakian border, the result would be war. Yep. So appeasement has not been the uh, case in terms of uh, the British foreign policy in this uh, timeline. All I'm saying is, yeah. <laughs> um, wow, they have a lot of allies. Yeah, it's the allies. I think they're actually a part of the allies. Okay, I didn't know that. Yep, yep, they're a part of the allies. So starting this, so going to war over Czechoslovakia will start World War Two. Fine, we won't go to war then. I don't know. I think we could do it. Oh, no, no doubt we could do it. Just we just have to take. Po we just have to take forces off of the Polish border. Exactly, because Poland could be is a not problem. A, well, not really, because Poland's not a part of the Allies. We could do it. 
that's another mm-hmm. 39 divisions that we could deploy over towards France. So what are you suggesting we do? Like push into France and Czechoslovakia at the same time? Yeah, I don't think... Czechoslovakia can't be supported by anybody. No. They're, they're cut off, so they have, at most, if I check their... I'm checking their details right now. They have 74 40, divisions at most. Well, they've got 49 divisions according to the map. Paris, um, France has got 16. Well, yeah, but we don't see, we can't see everything in France. 16 no. on our border. Yeah. So we could theoretically uh, push into Czechoslovakia and do pretty well. Mm-hmm. The only problem is that the majority of Czechoslovakia, especially along your border, is mountains with yep. forts. Yeah. We'd have to depend on the armored division in the south to push up through the, uh, like, uh, belly of Czechoslovakia. Well, that was kind of the plan in the first place, wasn't it? So to do this... You would push up, and I would just kind of... Just, All my forces punch in for Prague and just hold the line, basically. Yeah. And then Purple Army would have to be redeployed to the French border. Hmm. Let's see here. Could also go into Finnish, Fade Czechoslovakia, Second Vienna Award, and alliance, alliance with Italy and then Spain. Try and build up the Axis. Yeah, cool. That's an option. Could also befriend Japan. Try and get them in the Axis. Yeah. Try and build up a friend, just a, an actual faction together. Uh, question. Mm hmm. We have these continuous focuses down the bottom here. Uh, yeah, because you can the game the the game doesn't end when you finish all your focuses in the tree. So at the end, you know, that's for a while. Usually, you're going to have like a time where you're not going to have a focus to take. So these oh. continuous ones can be used, so you actually are continually doing something. Oh, cool! In in place of other focuses. Okay, we have some spare construction. Bits. I'm thinking we reinforce our border with France with forts. Okay. Build these up to level 6 forts along the border. Because we'll have to go to war with France eventually. Yeah, so having forts along there would make it harder for them to come through, wouldn't it? Yeah, have our own. Uh, uh, what was their what was their defense Minion line? line? Maginot line. That's what it was. Maginot. Yeah. No, I said said it wrong, but <laughs> I can make it really wrong. They <laughs> 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 got that we got that French Magnot line uh, right there. It's got T in it. <laughs> well, that's not too bad. I mean, I've heard people called uh, Leicester Leicester because that's the way it's spelt and looks like it's supposed to be said. Uh, your um, armored division. Yep. Are you doing a spear? Spearhead up, trying to get as uh, as deep as possible into the country before they stop us. That's the uh, that's the plan, at least. Well, my 
My general seems to think that we will get our butts kicked if we do the plan that I'm advising. Yeah, I'm going to redeploy Purple Army. And the Hippo class is done. Yeah, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I think... Oh... Uh, Purple Army is going to deploy to Czechoslovakia. Here's what I'm thinking. If we knock okay. Czechoslovakia out as quickly as possible, we yeah. can deploy all the troops that were in Czechoslovakia to the yeah. French uh, area. Yeah. So if we deploy Purple Army, I'm thinking about making them a very concentrated force. Four, yeah. to, four to five provinces long. Yeah. And just push them directly down the center of the country to cut it in two. So we maybe we, we cut the country in, into like thirds. Yeah. That might be a good option. So So I would be shortening my offensive line. Yeah, so here's where I'm thinking. Putting them here. And their offensive line's gonna go to there. That's a full 39 divisions on that four province front. Then your army could shorten, you could shorten up your army back towards there. That'll get you a couple more divisions. Uh huh. And hopefully, you can be a holding force. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing anyway. Just, Just offer, holding them. A offer resistance and keep them on their toes. Yeah. While we, while the, uh, the armored force and purple army make their pushes so i would cancel my offensive plan then well no i think the offensive plan is still good a good thing to have because that means you're still offering resistance because that's what we need instead of uh you need to still be actively combating them uh mm -hmm. you might get your butts kicked but it might help uh in but terms it keeps of men from being able to come and engage you yeah uh also we have the uh, we have a couple of options in the infantry tech uh, we can get some more, uh, we can get uh, support equipment and improved mm -hmm. infantry equipment to give us better attacks. Uh, are you okay with me putting in for the uh, aircraft carrier research? Uh, well, I was about ready to say, that's what I'm talking about right now. We have, oh, okay, uh, we have infantry equipment that is available to pick up. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so we could do it then, yeah. We could do that, so I'm thinking improved... I'm thinking uh, the support equipment, because that'll help everything. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we can pick up on the infantry stuff is uh, we we need to pick up the uh, improved infantry equipment one as well, and then we can focus on other stuff. Yes. We also have the ability to go uh, to pick up a new type of uh, tank. Ooh, lovely. Uh, we have a uh, we have the Panzer threes that are available, and we have an ahead of we have reduced the head of time penalty by one hundred percent on it, so we uh, we can research it a year early. Oh, that's nice. So that's good. Okay. Um, your tank division. Yes. What about it? No, don't worry. It's alright. Don't worry. I was thinking, and then I realized it was a stupid thought. You'd okay. have to go through a, a, a fortress to do it, so don't worry. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm we'll waiting. We'll see what happens on the political side first, yeah? Yeah, I'm waiting for the fate of Czechoslovakia. We'll see what happens. Because right now all we have are available war goals is for the Sudetenland. I want to have war goals yep. for everything. Uh, do you want me to bring air power over across to the Czechoslovakia? Uh, that's a good idea. Uh, you can get all the stuff that we previously had in uh, yep. in those areas, and I'm going to deploy some from Brandenburg because we got some up here. Uh, some of our. Okay, they're covering Czechoslovakia. At least I think they are. Uh, yeah, green, 
green things, yeah. Yep, green they are. arrows, yeah. That's cool. Okay. At least we'll have air support. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, and uh, we don't have to worry too much about Czechoslovakia's uh, air support. Second Vienna Award. Fate of Czechoslovakia. Okay. Yep, we have bad passed that, and uh, we did not get a chance. We did not get it. So political side has failed. Has failed. I think alliance with Italy is our next thing. To okay. Uh, to get them into the and then faction. And get the, and get uh, alliance with Spain afterwards. Yep. And we're gonna go to war with uh, Czechoslovakia. I think. Great. Because because uh, that's the thing. We're we're gonna we're going to war with Czechoslovakia. That means we're gonna be in World War Two. Yay! Because it's the Allies, so so it's up to you. This, is, this isn't this isn't this isn't dictatorship. I mean, it is, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hey, we're in the game. We're it's not a dictatorship. So what no, are what, no, is, no. what is your option? Do you want to go to war with uh, with Czechoslovakia, or do you think the? Uh, I think, think we should wait until we get Italy and Spain on side. Italy and Spain. Yeah. Because then at least we have some allies. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I can see that. Just a thought. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that. And we still we also I mean, want to probably get Japan in there as well. If we can, then why not? I mean, they are allies with British, yeah, British Malaya. British Raj, South Africa, New Zealand, Canada, the Allies, Australia, France. It's, if you if you go yeah, to the, the if you go to the faction mode, you can see basically everything that has the Allies moniker on it. They're allied too because they're a part of yeah. the Allies. So Japan is not having a good time in China. Oh, Romania is going to be kicking off as well. You know that, right? Why? Because they're guaranteeing Czechoslovakia. Oh. Well, they're not a part of the Allies, though. So that's a good thing. No, but they're still guaranteeing Czechoslovakia. Yeah. Independence of Czechoslovakia is guaranteed by Kingdom of Romania. Sure. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. You, you did? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just checking. Okay, Fine. those extra ten are going to France, going to the French border. <laughs> those extra ten divisions we just finished. Get over that now. So we now have a million men in the field. That's how large our army cool. is. We have over a million. Um, am I able to train some of these new recruits because they are experience level two? Uh, we don't have a lot of spare stuff. It, uh, Fair enough. Uh, okay. I'd rather keep. I'd rather on... build up a stockpile. Cool. They'll get their training in the theater of war. Yeah, level two is base is regular, or is it trained or something like that. I think. Yeah, trained. They're they're all right. They've just never been tested by combat. Oh. Cool. Not a big deal. It's fine. It's fine. Modify government. I think we should go to a higher conscription level. Yeah. So we're now we're currently at limited conscription. We have about yep. about half a million men in the bank, but uh, I think we should go to con uh, extensive conscription. Okay. Which should increase us to two million, two point three, two point three in the bank. So that helps us out a bit. And men is not only used by infantry stuff; it's also used by uh, naval power and your air power. Yeah, planes. Yep. So if you want to make new squadrons and things like that, you need men in the bank. Yeah. Okay, so we're just sitting here waiting for the next focus. Yep, I'm sitting here waiting for Italy. Like all Germans usually do. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got another five divisions of panzers being made to be put inside of the panzer army. Wow. How 
how long oh, till yeah, the... that's that one, yeah, cool. Schadenhorst is only a month and a bit away from being the first ones being finished. Then we move cool. on to the second Schadenhorst, which is four years away right now, but hopefully when all those dockyards currently being on the first one move over to the next we'll come one, across. they'll uh, yeah. it'll increase it a bit. Well, here's hoping. Eh, yep. 1.6 months. I also think we've finished upgrading all of our tanks. Cool. Not our tactical bombers yet, but you know, we've still got 192 of those to do. Yeah, we're only making <laughs> we're, we're only making half of one a day, so. Um. Uh, right. Blitzkrieg, because we still have a bonus to the research time on this. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you can so tell by the I'm little fifty percent thing above the icon. That's the. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the bonus. So yeah. Go. Just keep, keep going, going on that. <clears throat> we might get to modern Blitzkrieg by the time this uh, or the next thing. Uh, might finish off our tactics, do our doctrine before the uh, the end before World War Two even begins. And that, that actually might make this a little bit less painful. Yeah, hopefully. But we are at the end of this episode. We are. We are at the end of this episode. Yes, uh, this one's me. So, thank you for joining us for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. So also, also hit that like button if you like them. And if you want to help support uh, either mine or Rival's channel, I highly recommend you support Rival's channel. He's uh, a lot smaller, but that doesn't mean his content's any less good. In fact, I think it's better than mine in some ways. Go ahead and take a look Yay. at that, his stuff, and uh, maybe consider subscribing to his channel. Um, if you want to help support uh, uh, on top of that, uh, for my channel, I do have a link to my Discord chat. Uh, starting to get more active, more people are coming on to it. I recommend, if you want to talk to me or anybody else in the community, go ahead and take a look at that, as well as my Patreon campaign, where uh, there's a couple of rewards and stuff uh, linked down below. Go ahead and take a look at those. Uh, but uh, we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.